Yeah, it'll be good, you know, to, no to have that piece. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. And then Did I'll we just give you free tickets? No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. no. I arranged a ticket for him. <laughs> he arranged him. the ticket for Ticket for me. him. He Almost, did. actually, you can call it, it's free, basically. It, it is. With, the, with the value they're going, he's just paying the and, face value. And, and he's being such a nice guy. I actually met him uh, while there was a bit of a... Uh, accident. He had accident. an accident. I had an accident. Last Friday. Yes. No, last Thursday. No, Thursday. I think yeah, that, Thursday I think was, was at 6 o'clock. Yes. I think and I was coming was, yeah. out of an interview at Harbour 60. Yeah. You tell them the rest. He was, he was driving a... Yeah, anyways, very, I, my, my car got, uh, got into an accident and I was just parked on the side of it with me and my son and the nav comes right out of nowhere and we're looking at him and we're like what are you doing here? And all of a sudden he said, hey, are you guys going to the game? We'd love to get to the game, but we don't have the tickets. And he said, I'll arrange the tickets for you. How amazing is he? The tickets are going double or three times the price and he just got the tickets Show at face tickets. value. Show us the tickets. Those are the tickets. <laughs> wow. How That's amazing incredible. is that, right? So he just gave you tickets to go to the game. Now you're going yeah. to game two. <laughs> That's right. Yep. That's Let me ask you this. Since yeah. Nav has gotten so much media exposure, as someone that's a native of this community, yeah. and Basies typically aren't associated with professional sports, this man, I mean, I've heard of him from San Francisco, okay? No small feat. What does it mean that the Indian community is being represented in this matter? Toronto's being represented in this matter. I mean, what an ambassador. He's an incredible ambassador. So not just an ambassador, an ambassador who is really bringing the diversity and inclusion to life. Uh, in Toronto, I just uh, saw some stats that just yesterday on Twitter that Toronto is now the second most uh, growing population uh, of diversity and multiculturalism in all of North America now. So it surpassed New York and Chicago and many other areas. But but uh, really, what Toronto, uh, you know, what uh, what makes Toronto amazing is people like Nav and many others who are bringing the community together. And I think what Nav's been able to do is to really represent. Doesn't matter if you're a Muslim or you know you're a Sikh or you're a Hindu or you're a Jewish or you're a Christian or you're non-denomination. Anyone, he's able to bring everybody together by the you know by a game that everybody loves and by the way Raptors when Raptors came here in 1995 he has been engaged with Raptors when they did not play at the Scotia Arena they actually played at the baseball Skydome. stadium Skydome. Skydome and now it's called Rogers Center so he's been there since then I've never <laughs> missed a game I've never been late for a game and I've never left a game early I wish I can brag about my married life like that because my married life is hanging by flipping a very thin string are we all? <laughs> uh, well, hey, mine is, we're, we're, I, miss, I miss a lot of my wife's wedding anniversaries, her birthdays, her other engagements. I'm never there because my priority is basketball. I, I fully understand. Well, guys, tell me this. What does it mean that the Raptors have come this far? The Raptors, let's face it, early on, expansion years, really lean. Yeah, now, a lot of lows, you know, we had won only 16 games. And all of a sudden, you know, the last game with the, was with the Milwaukee Bucks, sixth game, and we win it. And I was excited, and also afterwards I said, is this happening? Are we in the NBA Finals? And we have the home court advantage against the champions, Golden State, one of the most elite team in the league? Wow. You know, so you have to, but now it's a reality. I mean, we won the game one, and hopefully we can uh, uh, win the game number two. But I think uh, we are standing. This is our best chance ever. Otherwise, if we make this particular, miss this chance, we'll be like OKC, which mixed their chance once and have never seen Gordon closer to it. We might be away again eight, nine years, ten years. If we cash on this, we got to give whatever we have, not just the players, not just the coaches, the fans, everybody, and this time, God, basketball gods are on our side. Because the proof is Philadelphia seventh game. What happened? That game could have gone into overtime, ending up losing because Philadelphia was having the momentum. But what happened? Kawhi throws a ball, rattles four times. One, two, three, four, goes in. That was God's doing. That was the biggest assist God has ever given, I think, to a team. We got it. So I believe that God is on our side and we are going to get it. Let me ask you both this. What does it mean that Steve Kerr has retweeted a whole string about your life and what you've accomplished, that Mark Cuban goes out and says, hey, Nav is my guy. What does it mean to you, both of you, that these icons salute you in this manner? 
You know, I, I'll just say what uh, NAV's doing for our city and for our community as a whole, for Torontonians, it's so amazing because, you know, I, I remember when basketball got started, Maple Leafs was the big thing. Uh, but what he was able to do is to really get basketball uh, engaged with people who are in the Jane and Finch community and others. And I remember coming here almost 20 years ago mm -hmm. when Vince Carter and T-Mac and others were playing and he actually integrated everybody into the community and actually brought a lot of immigrants together. So that's really what this guy has been able to do. And I think what people see on the Twitter sphere or any other social media is that, you know, when you are good to other people, good comes back to you. And that's what he continues to do, you know? Because I always believe you put a Aga Khani, you put a Muslim guy, you put a Hindu guy, you put a Jaini guy, you put a Christian guy, you put a, you know, anybody, a Jewish guy. Ask them, give us what are the four principles of your religion. I bet you 99.99% they'll be all the same. Don't cheat, don't lie, treat people good. They're all the same at the end of the day. Treat people like you want to be treated yourself because basically deep inside we are all the same. We might look different. I might be wearing turban and beard. Somebody might be wearing a hijab. Somebody might be wearing something. But deep inside we are all the same. And that's what I want to do. You know, I used to enjoy basketball for the, I, I still enjoy, but that was my source of my entertainment. When I first bought the two tickets, you know, at the Roger, at the baseball arena, which was called uh, Sky Dome and then Roger Arena now, I bought it to entertain myself because I didn't have, I only had one thing, nine, I come eight, seven, eight in the morning and work till 11, 12 at night and then again the same thing. I, when the Raptors came, I used to see them on the, uh, on the American channels and I saw Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Dr. J, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and all those greats. But then... When they came, I, I said, I'm going to drive with two, two tickets. And boy, is I got addicted. It is the most entertaining game on this earth. And I am now, I enjoy it still, but now I'm using this game to bring everybody together through the game of basketball. Jimmy Goldstein told us how much respect he has for you. Obviously, he is perhaps the greatest NBA super fan. He's been going to games since the late 50s. He didn't want to tell me his age, but, yeah. you know. So what does it mean that a guy like Jimmy Goldstein, a guy like Steve Kerr, a guy like Mark Cuban, not to mention all the Raptors, how much adoration they have for you and, and how the, you, you're part of this uh, NBA family? Well, I do feel like a family member. Jimmy Goldstein, or it might be Alan from Philadelphia, you know, and, uh, you know, I always joke them. I said, these are the super fans for, uh, you know, Clippers, you know, and uh, Jimmy and then Alan. I said, these are the, the there is a one, dif there is a difference. They are the super fans and they are wealthy. I'm a super fan, but I'm good looking. So that's the difference between me and them. I joke with them and we all joke around. It's all good. You know, this is what it is that we are all able to, you know, sit together, talk together. Jimmy was here in the last game. He's coming tomorrow also. So this is all really good. That's what I want to see through the game of basketball, you know. And I think it's working. I think it has worked in Toronto. In Toronto, we had 24 years ago when I started, we started basketball, there were only like 30 or 40 brown people. And one of them was the, with the turban. That was me. But now if you go there, we have thousands of people. Now, how did it happen? Because Bokawar Bisaki Day game. Thank you. What happened is about uh, in 99, 98, 99 season, Isaiah Thomas, the Hall of Famer, was our vice president and uh, general manager. So one day he told me, he said, Nav, I want you to hang around in the halftime. And I didn't know what was going on. He brought me in the middle of the court and said, starting today, you are the super fan for the Raptors and super fan one. So he gave me a jersey with a dinosaur, nice one. And it said super fan. I was on the top of the world. I became this turban guy became the face of Raptors. It's such a big, you know, franchise, NBA, uh, NBA franchise. But what happened is, that was my high. Then a few months later, I went to get my phone fixed at a phone place. And what happened is, this guy, white guy, was sitting, getting his phone fixed up. And he, as soon as he saw me, he says, Honey, I got to go. My cab is here. And I heard those things. I didn't get upset. 
I didn't get upset with him because I thought it was not his fault. It's the fault of our religious and community leader who hadn't done enough to integrate ourselves into the mainstream. I do believe the onus is on us also to go out of the zone and integrate where we are not welcome. Is that why you do so much media? Tell me about all the media attention you've gotten of, uh, of recently. Uh, you're getting international acclaim. Uh, and obviously, you have a business to run. You have family. How are you maintaining the schedule? The NBA lifestyle, even for us, I mean, you know what it's like. All, you know, you, game starts at 9 p.m. <laughs> if you go to the after parties, it's all night. you got to get up. How do you do all this? Ravi, I leave 5 in the morning now. It's just like an all-star. When all-star happened here, I did like maybe 50 interviews in three or four, four or five days. This one has gone crazy. This one, in the last five days, I've done 64 interviews till yesterday, and today, this is the third one, and I believe I have five or six more to go. And then tomorrow, again, we are crazy, and uh, we have already booking, people are calling us from San Francisco, and they want us to interview there. So we already have seven or eight lined up there, and people are calling me from Golden State, and telling you have to live with us. You have to be our guest. They give me so much love already. I think I'm going to do something there. Maybe, excuse me, outside the arena. Outside the arena, I'm going to do and invite the fans to come because I love people. I want to talk to them. Doesn't matter what jersey they are wearing. You know, sometimes people will say, uh, last time, Milwaukee, there were some Milwaukee fans and they were wearing number 34 jerseys for Giannis. And I was taking a picture and the guy said, Oh, don't take picture, he's wearing Milwaukee jersey. I said, no, Mar Giannis is a basketball player, and anybody who loves basketball, I love them. Because it doesn't matter. For 48 minutes, we compete. Before that and after that, we are brothers. We break the bread together. And that's what we do. And that's, uh, uh, Damon Green is an amazing guy. I know him well. KD, I know. Steph Curry is a local guy here. I know him. Curry, uh, his uh, dad, I know him, his brother, I know him. So all these guys, uh, you know, another guy, Zepko, Zerberko, Zerubko. amazing guy. First thing he comes, sees me on the lot, uh, on the court, if you see him, he'll come and give me a, the biggest hug. Steven, st uh, Coach Kerr, see the last game, first two minutes he spent with me, giving me a hug and telling me how much he loves me and all that. And you know, this is all it is. After the game starts, I can do my waving of the co that that is a game but a lot of love and that's what we want to do that's why it doesn't matter what colors we are black blue yellow japanese indians filipinos whoever we are we got to you know deep inside we are there for one thing because we love basketball finally nba is coming to india this year first time preseason are you guys going to be there what, what do you feel about that i'm going to be there on fourth and fifth and uh i'm uh I'm looking to be a sort of a soldier for the NBA there, and uh, uh, I've been to India with NBA already, uh, with the uh, uh, NBA India already before. Uh, so you know, I'm going to because I want to see basketball spread like it is in China now. That's and it's all good for us because anywhere the kid can buy 30, 40, uh, 100 rupees ball or 20 dollars ball or 15 dollars ball and find a hoop and shoot. That's what we want to do. And that's what our, you know, we want to do, bring the world together through the game of basketball. We want to build some basketball courts here in the challenging area. And people like these are the ones who are going to help us to do that. You know, people like these. Now, Roots just now came and designed this jacket for me for tomorrow. This is a brand new, nobody has this. What does that say? It says, making history with your friends at Roots. You know, this is uh, this is what love is, and that's how the basketball is going to do. Open Give up us the shirt. Where, where's that shirt? Who made that shirt for you? That, that shirt is my foundation. Uh, we have a foundation, Nab Bhatia Super Fan Foundation, and what we do is we do the basketball, and we also I'm the only non-Christian global ambassador for a Christian organization called World Vision, which is working with them. We just did finish my first project with them, building 60 washrooms in the poorest of poorest area in India, where the girls at the age of 11, when their period starts, they stop going to school because the washrooms are outside and they cannot continue that. So what we decided to build in a area of 40, 50 kilometers, 
that all the girls in that area should go to school. Because if a city or a village or a country or a province and a country has to progress and the world has to progress, we got to educate the girls especially. Everybody, but the girls especially. So that's what we are doing. That's what my passion is. That's what the foundation is. Napatia Superfan Foundation. And uh, yesterday at the game, day before yesterday at the game, Bank of Nova Scotia donated $25,000 with what's going on, you know, all that to the that, that cause to that foundation because I don't need a penny of anything. I go, I speak in, at various conferences, all the money goes into the foundation for that. I don't need any penny. I have, I'm okay. I'm, my tickets are paid for and my, uh, you know, all the other things are taken care of. I'm good. And uh, God is very good. I'm really blessed to be in the best country in the world, which is Canada. And it has given me all the opportunity. I came with nothing here in 84. And look at that. I came here after the Sikh rights. And look at that. Today, I'm able to do what I'm able to do, thanks to Hyundai and thanks to, uh, uh, you know, Canada. Your story is one of, you know, immigrant success, you know, just like my father and, and, and so many other uh, Indian Americans, Indian Canadians. Uh, what does it mean to you to be able to live the life that you lead now uh, and also for so many other Daisies that want to aspire to, to be like you? I talked to Jimmy Goldstein about this and he says that the NBA is my family and, you know, what he, how, how people can aspire to be like Jimmy Goldstein who goes to every single major NBA game. What, what advice do you have for folks who, who want to be like you one of these days? Well, just be, you know, truthful to yourself, be organic, you know, don't have to force yourself into anything. But you know what? One thing I will tell them, be good to treat people like you want to be treated yourself, basically. Anywhere you are, doesn't matter if you are in California, you are in Toronto, you are in New York, you are in Milwaukee, you are in Utah, wherever you are. Make sure, treat people like you want to be treated yourself. And basketball is giving us the opportunity to do that. It's a most inclusive league. I'm proud of NBA. I've followed them now for the last 24 years by watching every game. I go to all the playoff games which Toronto is involved in, and I go to about 10, 15 games in the season, regular season, you know, there. So basically, I'm broke. This season, I'm going to be broke after that. You know, if it goes to seven games, you just said that seven games, don't do that. You know, I want to finish it in five. So uh, otherwise I have to take another line of credit in order to continue to seven. But God is good. I'm blessed. And we are we are going to be, let's just continue making the world better. I think we have we have started doing here. If today, tomorrow on, uh, tomorrow on Sunday, when you go to the game, you will see there will be about 3,000 plus season, uh, season holders who are South Asians and lots with turban. You know how we have done that? Like I told you, I brought for 20 years Besaki Day game, a lot of kids free to the game, and all those kids now are working, they have a good job, they're professionals, and they love basketball. And basketball, I have to tell you one thing now, even the three generations, when I go to temple, Gurdwara, people come and tell me, the la old lady is 80 years, 85 year old, 90 year old, girl. oh, uh, we see this game with our sons and grandsons. So this is a three, four generation game. People are coming together. They say, oh, we made the pakoras and samosas and we made a party at home with 10, 15 people. This is amazing. This is what I want everybody to do. Integrate with the mainstream and do this so that we can change their perception. We can change the hatred. They hate only because they don't know us. If they know us, they're going to love us. And let's get the onus is on us, for us to make sure that we intermingle. We go out of, we don't want to just stay in our Indian area or Punjabi area. Move out, go, be seen at the main mainstream events, basketball, hockey, soccer, whatever it is. Do that, we'll make the world a better place.